Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Electric Metropolis. I'm Andy Springer, also known as Corbinian, and today we're going to be playing Mochi Mochi once more. We're going to be playing once more. We're going to try to complete through it. Well, bam, there we go. So, as you see, we have completed, 100% completed almost uh, well over half of the levels. We've gotten to the last world, which is pretty tough. And we're going to move our mic a little bit back. So
All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Ooh. Who knew? And moving a single thing would be anyway. So, oh dear, everything's out of order. Everything's out of order. <laughs> uh, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? What was it looking at earlier? At a perfect angle. Really? Stop messing with me, please. Thanks, microphone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Woo! All right, there. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of that's going to be cut. So, let's try again, shall we? <sighs> Uh, for those of you who just caught on, well, you're seeing this intro again because these are being put up to my YouTube archives, so, yeah. Anyway, this is the Electric Metropolis, I'm A.D. Springer, also known as Carpidian, and we are playing, once again, Mochi Mochi, and there was no technical, technical difficulties of any kind, don't worry about it, everything's fine, nothing went wrong. So now, we're going to actually properly start, here we go. <laughs> And now we are going, we completed, over, we completed over half of the levels, 100%, got all the rice balls. Uh, we gained, we haven't completed any other ones, all these green ones are ones we haven't touched at all. Because I've been trying to get through the levels ever since the second world, the second string here. Uh, I've been trying to get 100%. For good nil, uh, the last roll is really difficult, but that's fine. We're going to jump right into it. How is everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. Been watching uh, Goblin Slayer recently. It was a really good show. Finally finished it. Ooh, dear. Oh, man. No! Oh, I almost had it. No! So, yeah. Missed a couple days, but that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine and dandy. Because we are playing Witch Witch once again. This is still going to be the last episode of the new year for me. As this is on the day before this is New Year's Eve. Ah! And what do we have to look forward to in the new year? Well, I'm going to be getting some new some games some new games for the steam machine as it were have some new games to put on the ps4 in the coming months so look forward to that i do think i'm going to try to stick to mochi mochi to some degree especially if i make progress here oh, i missed because i do want to complete it but we have to plan for the future right because there's always the next game Now, what is the future of what I'm going to be playing? Don't know yet. But, we're going to be playing games, as always, in the new year. Try to see new things. As you see, we have the new camera, uh, as always. 
And yeah, I brought that up before. So, as you can tell, Mochi Mochi is one of those games where I kind of... Ah, it's a game where you end up babbling a bit. Because... Game? Computer? Hello? Hey, computer. <laughs> computer decided to calculate pi for a few million steps and decided, Nah, you just need to freeze for a second. It's fine. No! So... <laughs> Oh man, truth be told, hoo wee. I was having some fun times getting this working. But everything's fine. But yes, uh, what do I have for the PS4? PS4 games I have lined up. There is Red Dead Redemption 2. Soul Calibur 6 I have as well. I also have, what else? There's Fire Pro Wrestling, apparently. I have that. Bought that before. Don't recall what I brought up because, wow, that's what happens when I miss things. Anyway. Ah, no! Lose track of everything! But, cool thing I got to do is listen to some more music. As always, zzz, or the radio show. Got a couple interviews lined up this week uh, in the new year, so there'll be a couple artists that will be featured on the music cast. So that'll be neat! And we will be talking with them. So that'll be a neat little time. Also some Star Trek adventures I'll be playing at. Should be seeing streams of that. I think I mentioned that before. I don't remember what I'm talking about. So let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the fact that you, in fact, love chocolate bars. Yes, you. Yeah, whoever's listening, that's yeah, you. And then you like marshmallows and rice balls and peppermints. Now I can tell the game can reach your mind. I can tell me what you're thinking. It's also telling me that my earbud fell out, but you know, that's fine. Everything's fine. Free your mind and just get around there, please. So yeah. A little discombobulated, but everything's fine. Because, oh. Real talk. I started a little while ago and then everything decided not to work for a second. Um, computer wasn't plugged in, the mic was like in the wrong spot, camera got nudged, like everything just wanted to go no. No! So, thank you Mochi Mochi here. She's being awesome. She's doing her swinging thing, she's not doing anything she's not supposed to do. You know? Also been watching uh, Voltron, the latest series of that, that's... Looking forward to seeing how that's gonna... I hear it's gonna be the last one, which makes me sad, but... All good things come to an end, as it were. But yes, watching The Good Place. Good show. Uh, unfortunately, I'm watching on Netflix. Well, fortunately, because I can binge watch it. But unfortunately, uh, because the series is airing on television right now, uh, we have to wait. The Netflix we. The royal we have to wait for the series to be over because we're not simulcasting like other great services. Ah! So I got the. I'm up to season two right now. Just finished that. You should see it. It's a good show. Pretty funny and makes philosophy pretty digestible. I mean, I already was into philosophy to begin with, but it's actually a funny show. Good humor, all that stuff. Ted Danson, if you know who that is. I just realized that he hasn't been on TV for all that much. Oh, sorry, for... Uh, yeah. No? You ever get that feeling where you get really self-conscious all of a sudden? Yeah, I'm kind of getting that. Try not to. I mean, in a way, you have to be somewhat self-conscious, you know, consideration of others. But, no. At the same time, you don't want to be so self-conscious. You're like, oh no. I'm super self-conscious and can't talk to anything or about anything to anyone. Yay. No. That's all I didn't think it. Right into the peppermint. Ah! I 
I wonder how people feel about task bots. Tool assisted speedruns. Not, not sure how many people out there watch them. Friend of mine. Oh no! Said they really didn't see the fun in it, really. Like, the, you, one can understand a live speedrun. But not the joys of a tool assist speedrun. Computer, what are you doing? One moment. Let's see if there's any processes that my computer's doing in the background that it doesn't need to be doing. Because it's hanging up, and I don't know why. Oh. Uh, wait, why is that open? No, go away. I'm the kind of person that does a uh, control tab and start closing out stuff. Try to speed things along. Oh, I see what's going on. Memory leakage in one of my programs. Because you notice that there's a slight hangout going on, and I'm like, huh, that doesn't normally happen, especially with a game this. Aha. Okay. Close all those. Yes, one thing I'm looking forward to getting in the future is a computer with a RAM stick that doesn't want to RAM me in the stick. There we go. Let's get our chat window back. Hey, at least now when you see me dancing impatiently, I'm not blurring like crazy, so plus sides. No, please. Peter Tan. Peter Tan. Work with me here. Peter Tan. C Tan. Okay. I think everything's fine. Are we okay? Is everything copacetic? Oh, that's weird. Everything looks weird. Oh well, whatever. It works now. Back to what we're doing. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I have to do some task manager surgery to get things to run a little smoother on this computer. The fate of older machines. That's the thing about it. But yes, in the near future. Like, you know something's wrong. Like, even with this, like, this game is very undemanding. Let's put it that way. So, the fact that I was hanging up earlier, I'm like, no, that doesn't make sense. The computer's old, not that old, you know. No, I missed. Ha ha ha. Oh, I goofed that one. It's all right. Actually, here. Let me mix. Move this a little bit down. There we go. All right. What? Oh, come on. Really? I've heard the phrase, a poor craftsman blames his tools, but... Poor craftsman takes... A Shouldn't blame the tool, he blames himself because the craftsman looks after his own tools. In the end, it's still the craftsman's fault. Yes, I'm comparing myself to a craftsman, whatever. No! But yes. No! Oh, wait, I thought I missed it. No. So, I forgot what I was talking about before I started to do uh, task manager surgery. Uh, let's talk about chocolates. Now, I've heard some people... I'm not a big fan of white chocolate, for one, as you may already know. 
But I'm not too picky. So I've heard some people not a huge fan of dark chocolate. I mean, I don't mean milk chocolate like you usually find in a store, uh, like you usually find, but like dark, bitter chocolate. Some people are huge fans. Some people hate the stuff. I don't mind it. I usually like to mix in something or with something like chocolate with coffee. It's amazing. Love that. No. One thing I used to eat, what was it? Fluff? Fluff and Nutter. There's a recipe that used to come off of Fluff. For those who don't know what Fluff is, I just realized. Fluff is a marshmallow, marshmallow in a jar, basically. A marshmallow spread, if you will. Product, I uh, don't know how far wide it is, but anyway. One of the recipes used to have, I don't know if they still have them, on the cans, on the cans, on the jars, is making a fluff, marshmallow fluff, and peanut butter sandwich. Very sticky, very gooey. Very, very tasty and sugary for a kid. Now, eh, a bit gooey. But for some reason I was thinking of fluff. I don't know why I was thinking that. You tell me. See, what they need to do for future iterations of this game, because, you know, this is going to be a long-running franchise being supported by, say, the likes of a certain electronic automobile company. Ah, oh, darn it. But if they were to commercialize this a bit more, you have this sponsored by, like, uh... I don't know, Hershey or uh, Nestle or Lint or something, you know. Some candy company or another, just have it in the background. It's a thing you don't see much anymore. I remember that was a thing in the 90s and the 80s, like uh, video games. Video games as adverts. You know, you don't see that as much. I mean, you see it like in retro gaming. Retro gaming. In uh, browser gaming. There we go. In phone gaming. Oh, you don't see in phone gaming. Now we just put ads in our games. It's like the 1950s all over again. Mochi Mochi brought to you by Mochi Mochi brand marshmallow. Where you get all the chocolate and peppermint you want in the latest brand of Mochi Mochi candy brand. And so on. Yeah. This Twitch playthrough brought to you by Audible. Not actually brought to you by Audible. You know. That's the that's, uh, way of the business right now. But, you know, some of the games that were as adverts, uh, some of them weren't that bad. Believe or not. I mean, don't get me wrong, they weren't exactly classics that stand the test of time or nothing, but, you know, they were okay. And, heck, usually when you got them, you usually got them for pretty cheap, if not free. Then you have games like Sneak King, which are pretty terrible, so, you know. No! Why is Peppermint my enemy? Wouldn't Peppermint be a good thing? Shouldn't I collect it as another bonus up? I suppose eating a big old Peppermint like that would make eating rice balls kind of terrible? So... Get over there. Yeah! Nope. Damn it. I haven't even seen the three... Thir three. The third rice ball. Seen the first two. Not the mysterious and illustrious third one. What else have I been up to? Oh yes, in the new year there will also be some Steam games I'm looking to grab that be along the space theme. There's some visual novels I'm grabbing. Uh, some visual novels I'm planning to play on here as well. I haven't done that in a while. I think the last one I played was... Doki Doki? I'm glad the game paused long enough. It hung long enough for me to think. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. No. Hey, I meant to do that. That's what I get for lying. Don't lie, children. My beloved Taurus, do not lie. Lying results in hitting a purple block full of chocolate and clouds. I know that's very specific, but you know.
Yeah! No! Remember someone mentioning, uh, also playing Stalker? The Stalker series? I think the only reason I'm not... I haven't bothered with it. I was thinking about getting it because every, uh, Christmas, um, one of the things when people ask me, hey, what do I get you? I say, get me Steam cards. Honestly, because that makes it easier for me to get games without too much trouble. And so every year, uh, as I shop, window shop through the Steam store or the Humble Bundle stores, what have you, GOG sometimes, also another great source, they, I wait till then, and then I buy the games for the new year, generally. And I was thinking about soccer. Because it's a shooter and stuff. Two problems. One, most I'm so used to playing shooters on the console, so I'm very used to controller style shooters. I know I'm a console pleb, I get it. Um what? Oh no! Oh wow. Oh, dang it. I was just playing damage control there for a second. Ah, my eye. But the problem is, one, it's a shooter on a PC, and I haven't played this very much. Especially since now I use my... I do have a mouse now, but I'm so used to the touchpad. You know what I mean? Then again... Uh, the other reason, though, is that I'm a bit of a coward. Um, I'll admit. Because there's some spooky monsters in there. <laughs> and creeper crawlers and stuff, and I... I don't know. Mind you! All that said, my laptop could probably run it. So there, that's the other thing it has going for it. It's like, eh, it's a shooter I could play. Then I could also play Wolfenstein 3D. Ah, no. There's like three expansions to it. There's like a lot to it. But I do like post-apocalypse shooters. Like as much as I'm like, oh no, squeamy about post-apocalypse shooters. I've played Fallout, so. I've watched schoolgirls stab themselves with knives. I mean, you know, I'm not exactly. <laughs> I just don't know how much long-term fun I'd get out of it anymore. I like shooters where I'm fighting against other people. To a certain degree. I don't know. I'm making excuses. Long story short, don't know if I'd be in the mood for it. So other games I'll probably be playing. Some, uh, some space games. Sort of like, whoops, I meant to do that. Oh, I missed. Some space travel games. Actually, here's part of it too. Part of it is that some of the video games I play um, as I may have mentioned before, I don't recall if I did, is that I play uh, tabletop role-playing games like D&D, Shadowrun, and other such games with my friends. And part of that, if I'm running a game or if I'm playing a game either way, but especially if I'm running one. I'm the GM. I tend to play games that... I try to play games that are in theme to what I'm doing. So I'll try to play... If I'm doing a crime thing, or a, if I'm doing Shadowrun, so contemporary, near future, cyberpunk type stuff, uh, I'll play stuff like uh, Deus Ex, or... Um, Sometimes Saints Row is another good one. It's not really cyberpunk, actually, but, you know, it, it has a... Well, it kind of is in one of them, but, um... Computer, why? Why do you hate me, computer? 
Computer Tan, look. You're pretty, Computer. Computer Tan, you're a beautiful machine. Please stop. I know you want to participate, but, you know. No. No. If I'm doing Western style story, I'll do that. If I'm playing, doing Agent, the Chinese themed Warlords. Yes! What does this game put me in the mood of? Um, cutesiness. All right. Let's do in the super hard levels. Computer. Did I ever? Oh no. Oh no, it's this level. I never finished this one last time. Oh no. I'll get comfortable, everyone. <laughs> Time to fail a million times over. Um, positive thinking. At least I remember this first bit. Hey, I almost made that one. I figure out how to get around that pillar. We. No. This. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I was talking about games I play. So sometimes I'll be playing games like Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Where I was inspired to run a Chinese themed, ancient Chinese themed D&D uh, uh, &D adventure. Adventures now. Since we finished this, this one of the stories. It helped me create, not create a setting, but they gave me the idea for the adventure. So my games largely inspire what I'm going to be running. If I know I'm playing a lot of fantasy games, which I generally do, me and my friends generally play some good old-fashioned Western fantasy-style D&D. So, I tend to play Western-style, Western fantasy-style Western fantasy video games. Which is fine, because that's why I played anyway, right? Because if I play games that are too against type, I have a hard time getting into the spirit of things, I guess. But sometimes you just want to play a game that helps you unwind. That's why once upon a time, what I usually had, what me and my group usually did was that we would have fantasy games, someone would be running a fantasy game, and then someone would be running, usually me, a modern game, or sci-fi game. Now, that is not 100% the case, but generally, more often than not, man, there is a reliable, there, there is a reliable way to get around that obstacle, I'm trying to think. Let's focus on what we're doing for a second, So I do want to get past that somehow. See, I need to loop all the way around. Sorry. Uh, I'm used to the camera being there, not there. <laughs> so, I made a motion like that made any sense to you. Guys, yeah, so I'm trying to make a full arc around that thing. That pillar down. Ah, itchy head. One game tab I've seen a lot of in retro gaming is platformers. 
The problem with platformers, even though I have heard some of the most awesome music on some retro platform games, I mean, great. An older example would be like Shovel Knight, more modern example, or uh, Tiny Barbarian D uh, Deluxe. But you can look at something more modern like Time Spinner or Axiom Verge or something like that. It's all great games with great music, but I suck at platformers. Like, hard. I wasn't good at them when I, and I was born in the era of platformer gaming. I was a kid who wasn't playing. I played maybe Super Mario Brothers, right? Like, but I didn't play Mega Man very much. Um, because I wasn't very good at it. I played other games, strategy games, like Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Yes, the series is that old. Or No Bunker's Ambition. Uh, Western Fantasy games. I played Willow. Zelda I liked. You know, those sort of games. So, but a lot of retro gaming, I'm like, could you give me retro games that are, like, not platformers? <laughs> because, you know. So there's that aspect to it. To retro gaming. That's why you don't see me play them all that often. Because for those of you who saw me play Tiny, Bar Tiny Barbarian DX, as much as I love the music, and there's some cool sequences, holy heck did I get teeth grindingly frustrated. <laughs> but that's me. That's on me. Uh, there are people who do way more, who have way more fun with them, and oh god, and I understand why when you think about it from a game design point of view. Where a lot of people are familiar with platformers, uh, a lot of us, a lot of people of my generation, uh, grew up with platformers, and some people after mine uh, are familiar with them at least. But my generation definitely knew a lot about platformers. So if you're gonna go from a gaming platform uh if you're going for a retro theme that's what most people would think so it's hard for me to find too much fault my goodness Wee. no Can we get past the first obstacle, please? There we go. Game on the freeze frame to help me remember. No. A time when I meant to be... Ah, I thought I had it. Gotta fall further away. No. The problem is, when I'm thinking about... I can't think too much about the obstacle ahead. Because the minute I start thinking about this obstacle, I start forgetting about how to deal with this simple one here. Because the timing's very different. Right? No, I missed. Nope, didn't make it. Tried to switch hands. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's do this. One game that would probably be pretty terrible for me to play. I might play it just for giggles because I haven't played forever is Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I might play that just because I actually played the first Counter-Strike. I used to play it and I was okay. You know, I was no pro or nothing, but you know, I was decent at it. That said, as I've said before, I have been away from console. I've been a console shooter for a long time, so. And PC shooting is a little more accurate than that. Ah, no! You know, for a star-themed level, this feels very claustrophobic. No! We... Okay, let's do this. 
purposely fail a few times just to get it out of my system. I don't know. No! Yes. Hum hum. I already knew without even extending my arm when it froze there. I'm like, nope, there's no recovering. I'm in the wrong spot. If that pit was wider, I could get through it a lot easier. It's the fact that I have to, you have to hit it at a certain point. Because most times I hit that sort of obstacle, I hit it pretty low, like at the lower star points, right? But not that high up, not so high up that I'm looping around it that hard. Ooh. No. Blocks. Yes. I grabbed a block. Nope, missed. These later levels have a lot less room for error. You can't, in the earlier levels, all you have to do is hit a rough area. The trick was getting around them, but now it's like, no, no, no. Now you have to be a little more precise. And it's not like there's any other controls, right? I mean, it's it's mouse click. Hmm. Let's try to aim for the upper left corner. No game, damn it. Yes! Ah. Nope, missed. Miss. There we go. Aha! So very close. Okay. There we go. Ooh. Let's get around this. Actually, now that I think of it, I haven't watched awesome games on quick in a while. I just realized that. Random things you think about when you're smashing into blocks. Yeah, no. See, now that I have Red Dead Redemption 2, though, here's the thing. Uh, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to be really inspired to want to run a Wild West style RPG at my gaming tables. I'm trying to resist that urge. But, we'll see. Problem is, I don't really have a good Wild West style uh, RPG system. Could modify D and D to do it, and there are some there are some books in Fifth Ed now that cover that. But I don't know. Like it's weird too. Like it's not like here in Canada, we 
we, we see the same movies in the American Zoo, right? Like, it's like, we see Wild West shootouts and cowboys, and Canada has them out west. We have our own west. We had our cowboys and stuff, but not quite the same mythos. You know, way of the gun and all that. But we're still enamored by it, right? I don't know. I tried it once. I made it. I made a gaming system where I. Bye, bye, kitty. Where I like mixed two different systems together. Like I got guns from one system and converted them into a different one. Nope. I don't know. Nope. I'm mildly frustrated my laptop is deciding to be weird about this. I'm not sure what's hanging it up. Oh well, it'll be fixed by next time. Knowing my luck, it's just gremlins. Sometimes things just work weird. No. Try a different level. Do this one. Just have a different level layout. Game, really? Oh wow. 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 Yeah. No, please. No, please. Bye. Oof. What? Ah. Just get around this obstacle would be great. That would be fantastic. That's what it would be. Brain? <laughs> Work with me here. There we go. Gotta go play the game for a second. Here we go. Oh. Ooh, boy. Let's do this. Are you just in a bad mood today? I don't know. I'm a lot more touchy. Bye. Yeah. No. No, please. Let's try this one. We're gonna get something done, darn it. Good thing 
about doing those super hard levels is that it makes these easier levels not as daunting. It's like, oh man, you think this is hard? This is nothing compared to what you're coming up with later. That's why I can't be too mad about the... about the levels in the last world being super hard. If those levels were like the only levels and it was just 100% hard like that, right out of the gate, Nope, didn't make it. I got this nervous tick, I realize. That I get real itchy when I'm getting super frustrated. You know, it sends up the heat and cold. And the funny thing is, it, it, the, what makes that worse is that it makes everything else more aggravating. And it just gets worse and worse. That's why you saw me looking around for like a blanket and stuff. It's like, you know, I'm trying to... <laughs> trying to counter my own ticks. It's the nervous tick, more like a what you call it? That peppermint. I wasn't expecting it at all. I was like, oh, there's no peppermints on this level. But yeah, no. It's a way to externalize the stress, right? But the problem is that the more ticks I let myself get, the more... Just... The harder it is for me to... Sure, why not? Game? Please? Yeah, if you're seeing hang-ups of it hanging in the air like that, that's literally just my computer deciding to not process the program anymore. So, like, I don't know why. Uh, there's not a whole lot else running right now. this let's do this yay mochi I don't mind losing when I'm the one screwing up I do mind when it's my hardware fighting me on it I'm trying to think of ways to fix it is the other thing. Something weird's going on, and I'm not sure what. Stop for a second. Oof. Being worked up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, computer 10. Let's figure out. Is there anything else I can close? Hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> he said, stalling. Oh, and it's gone. Well, fudge. Let's kill some processes. Something's eating my processing, and I'm gonna find out what it is. Nope, go away. Go away.
Because I don't remember being that it hanging that much. That just strikes me as odd. Hmm. Let's try. Okay, let's try doing it this way. I'll set the one of the things I usually have running in the background uh, is Chrome. Close. Yep, I know. Because that's where the chat window is. I can see it while I'm playing. So maybe that's what's causing it. Yeah, let's close that. So I'll just have to see the chat from my from my phone. Not ideal, but I can do it. And I do want to, because I sh the last levels like eh, it's one thing for me to fail at those. That I believe. It's like no, no, I'm sc I screwed up, or I'm not timing it right, or whatever. The cat literally hanging there in the air like that. I'm like no, that shouldn't be happening. Like maybe I at first I thought I was like oh maybe the later levels are just that hardcore or something. I don't know. No computer, computer, close that. Thank you. All right. Okay. We're good. We're good. All right. So we're going to do this. Reload it. And he's going to be fine. <laughs> no matter how new computers get ever will get, there will always be something else that annoys the crud out of you. Guaranteed. There will always be something. Gotta readjust my window. Okay. <clears throat> there. Let's try that again. Hmm? We didn't complete this one. Why is it saying I did? I didn't complete either of these. It's just saying that I tried. I got a oh I got a rice ball. I guess. Surprised it's counting them. Okay. I close everything else. No. There. Much better. To a certain degree, streaming from your computer affects smoothness of the game as well, but there's a limit to how much that makes sense. Well, let's get to the end. Let's see what the rest level looks like. Okay. So we can get to him. Just have to get that last rice ball. <laughs> oh, hey, we got all the way through the level without it hanging. So yeah, it was just more Google Chrome just eating my memory. Which okay. Ah, the joys of single computer streaming. Oh well. <laughs> Who said I hate a challenge? Oh wait, me. Um, everything must be easy. Nothing must challenge me. Cooking my own. What a hit! Right. There. No more excuses. Everything's running smooth. We're fine. The reason I don't like using my phone that much is because I have to look way off screen to see it properly. So I should put it there. Ooh, I can put it there now. Yeah. Because usually if it's at my left like that, it's a bad spot. Because I'm very, I'm looking way off screen. And it's not my peripheral vision. 
So if anyone says anything, I'll miss it. <laughs> we. Now I have it near the camera, the new camera, so yeah. Yeah. I wonder what kind of plans everyone has for... I hope your New Year's is going to be interesting and fun. And you're spending my nice and quiet like. With my significant other, enjoy the night. I'll deal with those in a second. I'm suddenly reminded of Reboot. Not sure why. The TV show. Not sure why. It just popped into my head. Sorry, I was thinking about those blocks hitting them in the corners like that. I kind of need to be doing that. Not hitting the very bottom of it, but hitting the corner of it. Let's check what that was. that later. Yeah. No. Fudge. Oh, I I didn't expect to make that. Weirdest time I had a computer glitch in a game I tried to stream on here was Wing Commander. That was super weird how unstable that was. I mean, I was just thinking about that. It's just like, this game's fine. I close a few programs and eventually it just works, right? But. That one, geez, I don't know. I've played a lot of DOSBox games, as it were, and that one was the most... It just did not want to cooperate with the computer. It's like, nope, too fast, too slow. I'm like, what the heck's going on? Because you know, I'm used to games either straight up not working at all, and then you get them working, and then there's. Yes! Got it! <sighs> Pro
progress. Much progress. <sighs> Oops. Oh, dang it. Could you imagine if this game limited to you how many times you could attach to the ceiling? Man, that'd be rough. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, that little platform there, the stair one, you have to be very quick. I have the right idea. Yes! Progress! No! I did it too late! Bodging muffins! Okay, we got this. Too soon. Too soon. Late. There's a certain point in my frustration levels where I start getting a lot more focused. I'm able to do a lot better. He said crashing into the first obstacles. Because on the one hand you want to be tensed up and you want to want to be able to do it, but on the other hand, you don't want to be so tense that you can't react. Watch. For this part, I kind of have to relax, ease up. Enjoy the swings. And this bit tense up a bit. Also, an overthinking that's bad, so. You almost get to this not caring point. Yeah! Yeah. If you're like one block over, you'd be perfect. Damn it. There's a game to play, Super Meat Boy. I said that before, this game just reminds me of it. So much. Because, you know, it's full of kitty cats and rice balls. I got the rice ball. Ah. <laughs> oh.
Nope. Every time I'm in the corner again. Yeah, no more hangups. No, oh, I almost there. That was on me entirely. Just like, nope, I forgot to press the button. <laughs> like, oh, I pressed it now. A little late for that. Mm. Such a silly mistake to make. One thing I'll say about Soul Calibur 6 is that I actually like it. I'm, uh, well, sorry. I do like it. I haven't played it a ton of it yet. Played a little bit of it to see how much of a uh, frustration fest I have with it. Trying to predict how fun it would be to watch me play it. And, you know what? I do like the character creation um, well enough. There is a story mode for your own created character. They started doing that, I think, in four or five. One of them. I might actually do the created mode, the... Uh story. And the other character story, because I'm the kind of guy who likes fighting game stories. I know, right? I actually care about the story as nonsensical as they are. Oh, I did it too late. Because, the reason I like the story is because it looks like that you actually get, like, choices that kind of matter. Uh, you don't really get to choose how you look in the story mode. I mean, if you create your own original characters for regular fighting and online fighting, that's one thing. But the creative one's like, no, no, there's a certain way this character looks, and there's a good and evil... Oh, sorry. Is it good and evil? Well, it's good and evil. It might as well be. They don't call it that. They call it, like, order and chaos. So you can do little quests to kind of make a character more goody-goody or more chaotic. And that affects which ending you get. So, oh, that's, that's kind of neat. 
And you have a character that doesn't sell a protagonist. They actually have lines and stuff. Okay, it's all text-based and there's no uh, voiceovers, but whatever. And you can be male or female character. You make them look however you want. I was like, you know what? This would be kind of fun. Never mind the fact that the critic character story is honestly a tutorial of sorts. It teaches you various scenarios, gets you used to different kinds of fights, and so on. I will say that you could, they did simplify the controls a bit. I remember there's a reversal system, a counter system, that used to exist in the Soul Calibur 2 onward. I think even one had it. But there's a counter system where if you, if someone struck at you and you countered at the right time, your character did a special counter that basically broke, basically a combo brick of swords. But it mattered where it was, whether it's high counter, mid counter, or low counter. Uh, now they've kind of done away with that. They have this universal reversal system that then puts you into a rock, paper, scissors scenario. Which is okay, I don't mind that. Just odd. I'm used to the other system, so it kind of... When the game uh, uh, introduced me to the mechanic, I was like, the hell? What is this? No! One problem I have with the new Soul Calibur, though, is that there are certain characters I'm happy to see. Uh, I'm glad, like, DLC characters I'm glad for, like, Witcher, the Witcher, uh, Geralt of Rivia, he's pretty cool. Um, I like his moveset. I haven't played 2B yet, but I, uh, from Nier Automata, but I'm, I find that very amusing. <laughs> and she's gonna have her level there and stuff, so that'll be neat! But there's certain characters they took out that I wish they kept. Uh, there was a princess in 4 or 3 that had a halberd and short sword. And she wore, like, uh, armor. She was a princess in uh, armor. I really like playing as her, and she's not in the game. I'm like, oh no. But they have Lizard Man, I think. You know, things like that. I'm like, oh, come on. You have him, but you have Yoshimitsu still. Friggin' Tekken. But you don't have the warrior princess. Like, okay, fine. Every time. Oh, I had it. No. Nope. Missed it. Vert 2B is pretty unbalanced though. Like it's like way more powerful than everyone else is. So she's hard to use in play. Don't know that for myself, I haven't played as her yet. I always love the character creation thing in uh, the later Soul Calibur games. I really like that aspect too. Well, I'd make different fighters and stuff, especially for my D&D stuff. I'd be, if I wanted to picture what a character looked like, I'd choose a weapon and then I'd try to make that character in Soul Calibur. Have a rough idea what they look like, how they'd fight, and so on. Mind you, problem is, problem. The problem is that, uh, 
when you when you make a character, you don't choose a generic sword fighting style. You choose a move set from an existing character, which is fine. It's just that certain ones, certain styles have idiosyncrasies that are your, definitely those characters. Like if they like, if you choose, you can also choose to play for your created character to fight like uh, Geralt uh, or the Witcher, right? And he uses Witcher powers so, and mutagens and stuff. So if you choose that moose set, of course, you do that as well. So Shrug, oh well, but you know, hey, it's better. It's a better visual aid than, you know, here, uh, a 2D hero machine off of like Newgrounds or whatever. Because you get to fight as them and stuff and see them swing their sword around and the like. Oh, I thought I had that one. Yes. No. Oh. Ah. Uh. No. Hey, at least this game isn't giving me any like uh, lucky leaps or golden mushrooms or whatever. Here, you can't do this level. Fine. Don't do it. <laughs> ah no. Which I guess you can, but you know. Gap is something I can do, it's just a matter of timing it, that's all. He said pointing out the obvious. What I mean is that it's not a weird placement of the hand, like I don't have to put it in a special place per se. It's just a matter of tapping the mouse button quickly. Like, this part is a matter of getting it in the precise spot you need it to go. And this one's an easier version of that. But the third obstacle... It's just a matter of tapping the mouse quickly enough <clears throat> that, not quickly, you're not like hammering at it. If you do that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna drive yourself into the ceiling. No, I don't have it. Damn. You know one label I'm glad I'm not hearing as much of in gaming? Hardcore gamers versus... Oh. Please tell me what that's its arm. So, what is this game called? Hello, that bitch of girl. Remember that? That is, in fact, the, the kitty's arm. 
What is this game called? This game is called Mochi Mochi. Where Mochi Mochi is trying to meet up with her lovely kitty partner. But at first she's going to grab lunch on the way in the form of race balls. You need to put the title on. It's not. I told it to do that. Gosh darn it. Mochi. Mochi. Thank you, Bishop Girl. Hold on. Can't see anything right now. Problem is, it doesn't have it in the. Well, shoot. Yeah, for some reason, this, uh... It's not in the... Which, whoops, you can't see what I'm doing. It's not in the... Menus. Uh, Twitch. It doesn't seem to be entering it in. I thought I entered it in at the top of the... Session, but... Shoot. Hmm... It isn't working on my phone. I might have to try again on my browser. I thought I had it in my browser. I was displaying this whole time. Shows what I know. I'll try a couple more attempts and I'll jump to my uh, laptop. I'm at my laptop. Jump into my browser. Try to fix that. Back again. That's weird. Yeah, some of the games, it doesn't, uh, Twitch sometimes gets a little weird when it comes to games that it doesn't have in its library. And it's like, nope. Click. Then you go to. Dash. Oh, Twitch Tan. Mochi Mochi. Nope, oh, just that. Update. This way then. Mochi mochi. That's the name of the game. Ah, heck with it. There. Will you put that in, computer? Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> I'm not even showing that now. I'm trying to put it in retro and it's not showing it. Refresh. At least we have good music to be uh, troubleshooting too. Nope, I give up. Not gonna do it. It's not gonna do it. Oh, Twitch. Watch it work the minute I stop trying. It's like, oh yeah, it says Mochi Mochi, now retro game, now.
We... Okay. <gasps> oh wait, I put that in a bad spot. I guess ga games plus demos? Ooh, there's the thought. Oh, I tried to put it to retro. Oh wait, no, it got retro. Games plus demos? I mean, yeah. Yeah. It's not really retro, that seems disingenuous. See, now it updated. Oh, computer tan. Computer tan. No. Bad spot for that. That was a bad place for you to put that phone. There we go. Yeah, I'm in the last levels of the game. So that's why I'm struggling so bad, not because I suck. No, please! Now, as you can see from the text below, I am trying to get 100%, because you can't complete these levels by just getting to Mochi Mochi's partner at the end. But to complete the level, you need to get all three rice balls on the way. And also, collecting some of the rice balls unlocks levels, so early on I had to get them to... to progress. I have all the levels unlocked now, but I am trying to do 100% completion. Although in these later levels, it's the rice balls are a good spot to go for anyway. They're on the way to where you're going, so. All the itchiest of heads. I thought I was going to miss too. Ah, there we go. Nope. And I think I'm trying to do 1,000 1, completion. 100% completion. Because I actually think I can do it. Usually I don't bother if I think it's way too time consuming or way too much of a pain. Looking at you, Mega Man 9 and 10, because your challenges are silly. Um, beat the whole game without ever being hit. Yeah, no thanks. This one I think I can do. Too late. I already knew I screwed up by the time I did it. No. Ooh. No. Get up there. Thank you. Ah. No. No. Nope. 
New. Oh, loosen up. Loosen up. Ooh, barely got that. No, too fast. No! I don't want to shake out my right hand. My right hand isn't doing anything. Come on, this is the easy part. There we go. There we go. Oh, come on. Too close. I knew I screwed up before I got there. I was like, no, not even worth trying. Yeah, there. No. So, what else am I thinking of? You tell me. Win a prize. That prize is nothing. Um, except my ever-loving gratitude? Ow. Karma? Yes, I am looking forward to try out Red, Dead, Red Dead Redemption 2 in the future. I just know it's going to put me in a Wild West mood. That's the, that's the only thing I'm worried about now, is that I'll be like, really, coffee? Oh, coffee. I should have, I should drink. I wasn't thinking about coffee, but now I am. Coffee's nummy. Coffee with like three sugar, all the milk. More milk than sugar. Wait. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! I have no. Sorry, I was not expecting to make it, so I just kind of rose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh god. Uh. <sighs> no, damn it. <laughs> no. More sugar and milk than coffee was what I was trying to say earlier. Or French vanilla coffee. French vanilla cappuccino. I just rubbed hair into my eye. Ow. Oh. Wee. needed that. <laughs> Holy heck. <laughs> no! Damn. Hair in your eye? Don't do that. That hurts. Thanks, Skim Geek. Thank you. I will, I will endeavor to not stab myself in the eye with my own hair. It doesn't hurt so much as that it's an irritant, to be honest. No. Ah, damn it. No. Oh, thank you. No, oh, damn it. That's what I get for thinking a cat. Oh, you gotta be kidding! God damn it! Really? I missed that one! How did I miss the last one? Damn it! Also, this game is cute. Thank you. Yes, it is as Chem Geek. It is. <laughs> well, I can get to the end. I know the end is in sight for this level. Oh my goodness. I almost had a perfect run there. God damn it. <laughs> At least I know how to get past that darn level. A level. Well, yes, but that, um, pillar. Good grief, I spent a whole session once just getting past that damn pillar. So the idea is to get all the onigiri. Yes! You want to get all the onigiri before getting to the lover boy cat at the end. Nah, just get to the other end. Well, I mean, yeah, if you just want to finish the level, you get your kisses at the end. He just wants to get all the onigiri for 100% completion. Well, that's what I was saying. <laughs> Thank you for being helpful. Uh... Look, it's 100% or nothing, right? No? I want a special t-shirt if I get 100% in this darn game. I want a t-shirt or a hat. I've been up since 2 a.m., don't judge me. <laughs> Why were you up since 2 a.m.? I mean, I'm not complaining. Thanks for being here, but, you know, what happened? I'll cut you. No, don't cut me. <laughs> help. This Kim Geek, help me. Ah. Who's that? Work. Ah. 
For a second, I thought you were commanding me to work. I'm like, oh, you were at work since 2 a.m. I know! This game is basically extreme mode, the floor is lava. The floor and ceiling are lava. I can't touch anything, except for the Onigiri and Loverboy Cat at the end. Oh, damn it. Thought I had it. I was out of there, I scoofed it. I'm had it. I friggin' had it. I can do this. I can do this. I can... I said I can do this. Stop contradicting me, Mochi Mochi. I don't think her name's Mochi Mochi. I think it's just Mochi. And the cat, the, the boy cat's name is... I can never remember it because it's not the name of the game. It's not like a cat name either. It's like an actual like person's name sort of thing. choked. My finger just I was like, oh, I got super excited when I saw it. <laughs> I forgot to hit the button again. That's all I did was just survive. Ah, uh, no. I want that cat sweater. It looks like a turtleneck. It, I thought I missed it. <clears throat> looks like a turtleneck, but... Yeah, wouldn't that be neat? Cyan. I think it's cyan. It's like a chocolate face at the bottom. In the bottom. In the middle.
There we go. No. Yes, there we go. Yeah! Damn it! The funny thing is, the last one, Gary, isn't even that in, a, in that hard a place. The first two are actually hard. Like, the first one is, you kind of have to go out of your way to miss it. Ugh. And the whoops. And the last one is, like, First one, you have to, do it's easy to get. Second one, easy to get. Third one, out in the open, no obstacles, you just have to swing for it. It's just that once you miss it, that's it. There's no real way to slow down and grab it again. You've missed it. That was an easy one, I should've... That, that obstacle is actually not that bad. The one with the things reaching, the little forks at the top. That one isn't too bad. Forks, three pillars. Because I've seen that obstacle in, other, in earlier levels, and those ones I'm used to. This one is a pain, just because it's... Oh, there we go. I'm anticipating the third Onigiri Ball, and I keep forgetting there's one more obstacle to get by. <laughs> oh, fudging muffins in a fudge pan. Freaking damn it all the hell and back. <laughs> yes, I know, Hydrate Bot. I know. I know. I had. There's water in the can, okay? So just cool it.
Oh, wow. Yes! Yes! Gosh darn it all the hell. Yes! No more of that level. I'm just gonna sleep here. It's fine. I'm gonna lay here. Oh. Okay. All right. We're good. No. I'm sure how to dodge that one. Nope. Ah, no. That'd be a challenge. That'd be the next challenge. I don't think it'd be possible. Of getting, of getting no rice balls. There's certain ones you could dodge, but there's certain ones that are literally in your way, like on the last level. There's one you just can't miss. Ah, no, I missed. Oh, I missed. 
Different level. There we go. Just reset my brain so I'm not getting stuck in a loop. There we go. No! Shoot, I had it. Nope. No! Oops. Wasn't thinking straight there for a second. There we go. The good thing about this level is that the stars on the ceiling are actually a pretty good indicator of where I should shoot. So it gives me somewhere to aim. Other levels don't really have that. He said, failing every time. There we go. No. We got this, we got this, everything's fine. Everything's fine. All is okay in the world, damn it. Yeah, got it. No, please, no, please, no, please. No! <sighs> Just spam the button hoping everything would work out. No. Well, my favorite drink to drink is mead. Honey mead. Tasty, tasty stuff. Sweet. And also delicious. Like cider, too, to be fair. Not big on beer. 
I'm very fortunate that in my area there is a meadery. I think there's only the one. Good luck. Logged on while snacking and now I need to get to building my D&D campaign. Yay! D&D campaign! Meat is yummy? Yes it is. Try port, I'd like, if you like mead. I've had port, really tasty stuff. Remember this cake we had it at, um, at the, we had it as part of it. Port's really great with desserts, I find. I don't know. If, if you like mead. Of course I like mead. Not id. I don't know, it's your inner id trying to talk to everyone. Yes. And itchy nose. I don't drink port all that often, though. Should. I'm a sucker for sweet drinks. Psych joke. <laughs> yeah, I don't get psychology. God damn it, autocorrect. <laughs> Don't get psychology into it too much. It's Kim Geek. Uh, it's Kim Geek. Friggin' Bishop Girl will uh, tear you a new one. Saw deep into my soul that one. No! Yes, Dungeon Metropolis is also on Discord. Go to that link. That is a part of the multi- We are a part of the Maritime Multiverse. Friend of two streamers. You should check out Matt Heats and CL Pockets. Great people, check them out. They play games late at night, but they play fun games. And to answer your question is Chem Geek. Yes, I was playing, um, what was it? Tender Loving Care. And, uh, let's just say I got a lot more psychoanalyzed than the main character did. <laughs> Revealed a lot about myself. No! No! I'm glad I made a lot of progress in this game. I've finished off, what, three levels so far? Hopefully four? Not sure if I'll get the last two today. But hey, we almost have 100% of the game. So. No! Peppermint! Dang it. No! No! Yeah. 
Are you trying to scare someone from across the room? I am not scary. <laughs> Trying to scare anyone? What made you think that? <sighs> Would you, could you, to fudging muffins? Come on! Yes! No! Yeah! But also fear me. <laughs> Earlier you were saying you were going to cut me, then I just happened to point out that you're a little insightful when it comes to my psyche due to certain situations and scenarios, and now you're telling me not to fear you, but to fear you. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't... No, please! No. no! Yes! Good! Good! Evil cackle. No one else heard of the evil cackle? I heard the evil cackle. No! Damn it. Damn it! Yes! No! No, please! Fudge! Oh, damn it! Are you kidding? There we go, Jesus. Damn it. No, oh, dang it. This game looks fluffy. Hello, Xavier. Hello. How are you? It is very fluffy. Mushi is very fluffy. Rice cakes are fluffy. The ground is not. It's full of stars. Oh god, it's Cthulhu. Um, yes, everything has to do with Cthulhu. 
Stars just can't be pretty. Music's fluffy too. Very nice sound. Get it on Bandcamp. Pay what you want. It's like four songs, five songs. All very pretty. <gasps> oh, damn it. Damn it. Do this. What was I thinking? Try that again. There we go. What's in my pockets? Is The Golem of Lord of the Rings in my head when I read the books as a kid were a lot scarier, well, scarier, creepier, disturbing than the one that was in the movies. But then again, that's books, right? The power of imagination and all that. Peppermint! God damn it! Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> Would you get around there? Thank you. Ajing! Let's do this. No! At least the cat's happy. Like, no matter what, she's always smiling. Be like Mochi. No. Damn it. You gonna get them kisses? <laughs> I suppose, yeah, as long as you still have to. Yeah, I'm getting kisses. Have some Monokiri. Get a kiss at the end. It's all worth it. No! Damn it.
Ah, damn it. <laughs> okay, we got this. We got this. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's okay. It's just a little bit of... Little tail waving in the breeze as she swings along. Every time she jumps, looks like she's about to glomp somebody. It's like catch me! It's like catch me! You know, as cats are wont to do. Nope. Dang it. Get... Ah. There we go. No! Ah. Oh. I was willing to skip the Onigiri just to see the rest of the level. Because that way, if I have it, sometimes when I'm first going through the level, sometimes it's easier for me to go through and try to beat it all, try to get all the Onigiri. But other times, it's better to just see the end of the level. If nothing else, to have an idea of what to expect. So you can plan ahead and you know how much progress you're making, or how close are you to the end, really. And completing level at least gives you, even if you don't get all the things, which I'm trying not to dodge them uh, here, gives you a sense that it's not impossible to beat it. You know, I used to do that for the early levels because when I first played the first couple uh, worlds, man, they seem super hard. They're nothing compared to this. But at the time, first playing this game, they seemed really hard to me. Until I started, like, just ignoring the owner Giri balls at first, and then, like, let's just get through the level. Once I got through it, I was like, okay, I can go back and do that level again, now that I know where everything is ahead of me. Yeah, a lot better idea of your progress. That's why that other level I was stuck on was such a pain, because I never saw the end. So I keep being surprised by stuff. Oops, no, too late. Nope, missed.
two seat. B. Ah. When I miss them, it's hard not to want to stop my like, crash on purpose just to. Especially that first one, because it's so soon. And you're like, well, it's not that far away. Probably you start developing bad habits doing that. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I made it. too long on those. Damn it. Those squeaky deaths, though. I know, it makes you feel bad every time. You're like, no, poor Mochi. No. Ah, damn it. <laughs> now I'm focusing on the squeaks. No. No, damn. Ah! No. Ah! No, we're trying not to make the squeaky noise. There we go. That are jelly fit. That are, are those jelly filled donuts? I think I think I know what you're saying. Uh, well, if you believe four kids, uh, those are in fact jelly filled donuts. My favorite, or well, Brock's favorite, really, but you know, because no one can understand a ball of rice wrapped in seaweed with something tasty in the middle. Just, no. Not a thing that Westerners can understand, really. Too foreign. <clears throat> Too foreign. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like jelly-filled donuts. Boston creams and all that. Even... Salt. A snake with salt. Sushi is yummy too. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me.
Sushi is indeed yummy. So glad it's easy to get now, where I am. Used to be one of those things you can only get, like, convenience store sushi. They kind of come in little bento boxes. But now, there are, like, two different Japanese restaurants in my city. <clears throat> Both pretty good. Both with good sushi and gyoza, or dumplings, I should say. Love gyoza. But yeah, there's a sushi place we have that has like old, they uh, have uh, different kinds of sushi. Really tasty stuff. If sushi, sushi rolls, and so on. <sighs> no, damn it. Also, a few Korean places with sushi, too. That's true. That is true. <laughs> is there like two, I think? I want to say. At least two. There's Thai places, Greek places, but they don't all have sushi. <laughs> we have a variety of cuisine for a city as small as we are in Fredericton. No, I think so, yeah. Ah! missed one, but that's okay. We know what the level looks like now. Also, good craft brews. Come be a food and beer snob, tourist. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we can do this level. Uh, do we have time for a few more attempts? We do. Let's do this. Oh, my finger. Whoops, I didn't think I was going to make that one. Ah, dang. Now, the Maritimes have developed quite a bit of a of Canada here, of Eastern, oh, sorry, the Eastern Maritimes of Canada, there we go, have developed quite a bit of a craft brewing uh, industry. Lots of different tastes and everyone's trying it out, so we're getting... I think Fairton's gotten a Kirk of Armongus Kinky. I think most of our uh, bars here don't even carry uh, regular, don't carry much of the standard brews like Coors or Bud or whatever. They carry like um, craft brews, like local brews. Which is awesome. That become my new thing for the Electric Metropolis. Start talking about doing a uh, beer, uh, craft brew tasting. <laughs> Today we're trying this one. <laughs> ah!
Ah, dang. Oh, couldn't get the dismount on that, right? Oh, I missed. I was watching the peppermint, I wasn't sure how to get around it. No! Shoot, I gotta go. All right, one more. I gotta go, because I have to do a radio thing. Oh. oh. Well, that's it. That's all for now. Oh, dang it. Well, we got a lot of progress. Actually, we'll jump back. So, we only have three more levels to complete. And then we'll have 100%ed Mochi Mochi. So what is the plan? Uh, the plan is uh, tomorrow, uh, today I have a radio thing I'm going to be doing, um, which will result in a music tour episode tomorrow. You can check that out on the Twitter. Uh, there is a link for that there. I'll also announce it on the Discord as well. So that'll be happening. Also, check out my YouTube channel as well. They have, that has some of the archive of stuff right now. As of current recording, there is a stream. There is um, the Kingdom Come uh, streams. Those are going in. I'm going to be putting the Mochi Mochi ends in next because I haven't touched Kingdom Come in a while. So that'll be coming out tomorrow as well. Uh, so tomorrow, around noonish or so, there's going to be a YouTube thing that'll go up. At around 9 Atlantic, there's going to be the music episode. Last one, uh, first one of the new year. Next time I'll be streaming will be on Wednesday, uh, around the same time as usual. Uh, that will probably be, I'm not sure what it's gonna be, if it's gonna be a PC day or a PS4 day, but we'll see. We will see. Other than that, I'll take this opportunity to thank you all very much for touring with me here in the Electric Metropolis video game tour. Thank you, the Adventure Girl, Xavier7, is Kim Geek. Thank you all for saying hello, letting yourselves be known. Thank you lurkers out there for enjoying yourselves and laying back and enjoying the ride. Those in the VOD who see this later, those who see in the archives, thank you as well. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to hit the follow or subscribe button. Or if you see this in the archive, thumbs up, all that fun stuff, do all that. It helps more than you think. Now, what are we gonna do? We are going to raid somebody. Who are we gonna raid? Who are we going to raid? I don't know yet. Let's find out. Does that close my thing? Yeah. This is fun. This is fun. Glad I actually made some progress. Good grief. Good friendly grief. So who's on? Let's find out who's on. Who is on right now? Various people. I think we are going to
say hello to Mr. Pure Instinct, who is currently playing Celeste. I'm gonna raid him. Mr. Pure Instinct. That game, Celeste, by the way, amazing music. Amazing, amazing music. Can I spell his name? Is that a thing I can do? Mr. Pure in. There we go. Alright then, you don't have to do anything special, all you do is hang on for the ride, let them know if you want that this is a electric raid. I can't spell electric raid. Electric raid. If I type it out, hold on. You can do it that way, or if you are a subscriber, you can do it with this. <clears throat> Either way works, or you can just enjoy yourself. In any case, see you all later. Have a good one, and I'll see you all Wednesday, or you can hear from me on Tuesday at your leisure. You have a good one, everyone.